a thousand dollars for dinner. A thousand dollars for dinner. I don't need, I'll take four of them. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about this event we got going on this weekend uh, up in New York City. We just made a really last minute decision. Uh, to fly up to New York. Some of you have probably seen in some of the content, uh, we partnered up with Gerard Adams on a new dinner series that's going to fund his nonprofit, Future Founders, and it's called Breaking Bread. Obviously, we're all about the bread puns uh, here on the Daily Bread vlog, Breadwinner podcast, breadcrumbs, who knows what'll come next. But it's called Breaking Bread uh, Dinner Series. The second one, the first one was out in LA. Next one's coming up this Sunday in New York City. And the tickets are a thousand bucks. Why on earth would someone pay a thousand dollars to go to dinner? Huh, I'm glad you asked. So we just got to the gym. I packed up my gym bag and all my stuff in it. Because I knew we were not gonna have much time in between meetings, so we're gonna have to go straight from my Second to last meeting to the gym and then back to the hotel and my last meeting tonight. Just looked at my car and realized I don't have any of my stuff with me. So we're about to go here and get a uh, workout in in my uh, work clothes here. So that'll be fun. There are a million reasons why we should not work out right now. A million, a million of them. Uh, I don't feel well, my stomach's hurting, I've got kind of a stomach issue going on uh, today, coming off of a 48 hour, actually 60 hour fast, a bunch of stuff going on. Nonetheless, here we are, working out, we start regular clothes, I got pants on, boots on, all this, but we're getting it in, no excuses, do it anyway. Why on earth would someone pay $1,000 to go to dinner? Huh, I'm glad you asked. The quickest way to level up in your life is to level up those that you surround yourself with. And think about it. A person that's willing to pay $1,000 to go to a dinner probably is someone that's in a at least secure financial position, but probably doing pretty well and probably has some influence and maybe someone that you want to connect with. That is the entire premise of going to events, networking, meeting new people, building relationships. And this is a prime example. So we, we are one of the sponsors for this event uh, with Gerard Adams uh, and founders, future founders. Um, and I'm extremely excited about it. Number one, because it's going to a good cause. Like future founders, what they're doing uh, there in Newark uh, is unbelievable. And so I, I, I can get behind that. Uh, it's a 501c3 uh, and, and it's something that I think is, um, it's making a difference uh, in real time. Like you can see the impact it's making uh, with these kids there in Newark. Uh, but number two, these dinner series, they're bringing together like-minded individuals. They're bringing together people from uh, all walks of life, but that are all trying uh, to constantly level up and to become their best versions of themselves. So with these dinner series events, there's gonna always be some type of uh, major influencer or celebrity um, that's gonna be involved, sometimes more than one. Uh, I'm extremely looking forward to uh, hearing from Haley Thomas, who's gonna be there. She's a 17-year-old, um, activist and she's like i think she's the youngest certified health coach in the united states is one of the one of the uh, quotes that i read uh, but she's going to be curating the menu for that night they've got chef elliot coming in again um, to uh, cook this this meal for these people that are coming and it's at this unbelievable uh, penthouse in new york city uh, the pictures that i've seen are just like it's over the top so uh, what will happen in that setting? Well, you'll, you'll be able to be introduced to new people that you probably would have never been introduced otherwise. And you have the opportunity, obviously it's opportunity because it's up to what you do in those situations, but you have the opportunity to connect with other individuals, uh, to build relationships. Uh, that is the key to success 
relationships. And every event that we've been to so far this year, there have been three, four maybe relationships that I have pulled from those events that are people that I talk to on a regular basis now. Um, and that's the whole goal. Like I, I pretty much go to events and do things like this for that sole purpose, not even for the information that I'm gonna get at the event, just to meet the people that are willing to spend their free time, their weekend, and their hard-earned money to do something like that. Um, so I'm excited about it. Uh, there are a couple of tickets left. I will throw that out there. Um, so if you're in the New York area or just on a whim, you wanna to travel to New York, uh, I would obviously love uh, to connect with you and, and build a relationship with you as well. Um, shoot me a DM or a Facebook message or shoot me an email at uh, info at tylerharrispage.com, uh, info at tylerharrispage.com, and I'll certainly connect you and, um, and get that taken care of. Um, I think there's like two seats uh, left at the dinner, um, but I'm super excited about it. And, and here's the kicker, like $1,000 for dinner, like TJ's not even gonna eat, probably. Like he's kind of he's kind of picky, he's kind of picky in the food that he likes. Um, he doesn't like a bunch of like super like frou-frou, like fancy little things, which I'm sure this is gonna be. Uh, so he's probably not even gonna eat. So that's $1,000 on him. And also, um, in, I invited uh, Tyler Babin, uh, Gary V's, uh, one of his videographers, and one of the key guys over there at uh, Team Gary V at VaynerMedia. Um, I invited him and he's bringing a friend of his, uh, Jason Ciano, um, who, a good friend of mine, uh, who we hosted the meetup dinner last time we were in New York City. He's gonna be there. Henry Kaminsky that I just uh, did his podcast. He's doing my podcast, I think this Friday, I believe. Um, the brand doctor, he's gonna come up uh, for it. But again, like it's, it's worth it. Like that's how you add value. That's how you provide value to others, how you can connect on a, on a higher level. And uh, I know for a fact that I'll leave that, um, that dinner having built relationships with people. Uh, that's the only reason why we travel is to connect with other people and to film great content around connecting uh, with other people and building relationships. So, um, so again, this is how you level up. It's by putting yourself in a position to be introduced to other people that are doing incredible things. Other people that are doing extraordinary things and then you can connect with them, provide value to them, and then ultimately build a relationship with them. It's putting yourself in a position to meet interesting people doing interesting things and ultimately building relationships with them. It's no different than when Andy Frisella talks about the fact that, you know, with his, uh, all the cars that he has, like the Lamborghini, like the first one that he had, he talks about the ROI from owning that vehicle because of the people it enabled him to surround himself with, other Lamborghini owners, and the relationships and the networking and the connections that happened from that and the opportunities that came about from that far exceeded the cost of the purchase uh, of the actual Lamborghini. Uh, it's no different than that. So again, $1,000 for a dinner? Like, are you kidding me? No, like I'm not kidding. Like it's it's worth ten thousand dollars, quite frankly, from the relationships that we'll build. So, uh, again, if you're interested, there's a couple tickets left. Um, if you're not interested in going to the dinner, but you still want to meet up, I am going to be in town. So, if you're in the New York area, I would absolutely love to connect. So, guys, with that, hope you have an incredible rest of your night, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, whenever you are, uh, and look forward to seeing you next time on the Daily Bread Vlog. Bread.